Hello guys, this is Tomasz TGM here and I welcome you to a tutorial video and this time it's like a tutorial and a review. So this time we will be reviewing uh, the top 3 uh, video editors for your tablet or your Android your, your Android device. Yeah, so let's begin. Okay, so in number 3 we have the Video Maker Pro which is like this picture you can see um, I already made a test on it uh, to show you so in order to add uh, videos you press the plus button um, you have um, text here and you know in order to add text all you do is you press on the video and then you press a plus title you have some effects into clip for example let's see the into clip Whoa, it's laggy. It looks weird, but yeah, you have all of these. There's not much to be honest, but you know, it's good for beginners. Um, I used that program once, but it wasn't really good to be honest. But yeah, this is like this little thing. Yeah, that's just my intro. To add music, you press the little thing here, and yeah, you can add uh, music. So uh, that's simple you don't really have to learn much this is to record video take a photo import video clip import image and import music on the side um, yeah and this is to make the vi this isn't actually to make the videos longer this is to make the uh, uh, line longer I don't know why would you need that but yeah if you want to make the video longer you, you, you have to add more and more videos all the time that's the annoying problem about this but yeah this is um, this is top. Uh, this is number three. Okay, in number two we have Movie Aid. I actually used Movie Aid a lot, and um, okay, um, okay. So this is a free version. I paid for it, so it's a full version now. If you record videos on your tablet, then I'm sure you know how to get a full version for free because it's in-game purchases. It's in-game purchase. So okay, so this is how it looks. This is, uh, in order to move left and right, you you press on the um, line where the numbers are, and it goes left and right. Touch to import picture or video. Touch to enter subtitles, and you can if you want a background music, you press the little note on the bottom, on the middle, uh, on the bottom middle. Um, so you, you know sometimes when my intro starts, you can hear the out, um, background song. That's because you can't actually tell where you want it to start or not. So yeah, uh, you've got your settings here. Uh, movie width and height. This is like the um, how you want it to look like. HD or VGA or yeah. Um, so if you want to add normal music, like where you actually want to choose, you long press on the thing where it says add audio, and you press this on the bottom left. And let's add some music. So, for example, if I add this, you can see this white—I mean, this green line—and it's pretty damn long, isn't it? So, uh, if you long press on it, there we go. There's the whole movie. Uh, I mean, song. You can choose where you want to trim it. You can choose the volume of it, and uh, yeah, or you can bin it on the bottom right if you don't want it. Uh, so that's one. You can import videos. You can't actually put a video on top of a video, so there you go. Video, image, title, page, or cancel. Uh, enter subtitles, and I the thing I like about subtitles is you can actually choose where you want them to be, or you can add an image. Uh, so okay, test, and if I long press on it, um, I keep pressing add, so it'll be bigger, and then I move it around just by simply touching it and moving it around. Um, BG, BG color, color. Let's make it transparent and let's make this, for example, red. Done. Nice and simple. And you have animations um, as well. Um, so yeah, this is this is actually really cool. This is this is the one I used, and I still use it. Um, 
but now I actually now I use two. But let's go to number one. Okay, so number one is the video pad free, and you have two options of uh, two options of getting the full version: either buying it from Google Play or again in-game purchases. Um, so this is beautiful. Look how nice this looks. Um, okay, so media list is empty. Click add button above to add files. So you have add on top, and you add video, music, photo, and the awesome thing about this is you have audio overlay video overlay and your main track and on the bottom um, right you can see this weird square with like an arrow well it's raining outside um, then this minus and a plus zoom in button and a uh, audio thing uh, on the top left you have this star which is effects then you have um, a slideshow and to record your voice I don't record on my tablet be uh, because um, the microphone is terrible, so I use my phone. But yeah, so let's start by. Uh, oh yeah, if you press the little square, I forgot. Uh, you can. You, this is your main screen, and you can add clip from there, or you can just press on top and add. So you have two ways. But I prefer it adding it on top. So let's add, for example, my intro, shall we? So my intro. There we go. Okay. And it, it looks really nice. That it. it it's not really baggy to be honest. I, I didn't expect, I didn't find any bags yet, so. Yeah, okay, so it's in. It's on top over there. So what to do, you long press and you slide it in here. Boom. Now to play it, you just press on the black screen and it plays it. Um, you have effects, if you press on the little square that has appeared between these two. Um, you have um, yeah the little square there we go you have all the effects which is a lot like wow and uh, let's put shutter on it because I like shutter I'm playing there we go it's shutter now uh, and let's add and let's add a clip like that now by pressing add clip and we are gonna to put uh, we're gonna put the outro um, yeah we're gonna put the outro was my outro? There's my outro. Okay. Adding files. And yeah, it's done. Okay, boom. So um, I think it's gonna lag on the effect. Yeah, you didn't see the effect. I knew it's gonna happen. Um. Let me try to show you again, maybe it'll work. No, I can't show you I can't show you the thing because it lags when because I'm recording and it just lags out on that part. But anyway, yeah, you have got loads of transitions you want if you want. Um um, let's see so now this is your main page if you want to edit the videos you press um, back on the bottom right remember this square thing yeah you press that and there you have your first video and on the bottom you can see this little line this is like your audio so you can you can see can you see this two little circles by pressing and dragging I can make the video smaller or bigger um, so yeah that's to edit. If you double click it, um, I think it was double click. Yeah, it's double click. Then you go into the editing, even even better editing. The red flag and the blue flag on the middle is your. Uh, the red flag is starting position and the uh, blue one is out position output. So uh, you can choose what to where, where you want to cut it and stuff. You have sound. So this is the sound of my movie, and I can play it. There you go. And it can you can see this yellow line and I just moved it. This this is this is this is the really cool feature of this. So let me make some points. 
Okay, so I just made some points. And I will make this point go all the way down and this one just be on the middle. So what I have just done is the movie is going to start really quiet and then it's going to build up. Wait, let me make it a bit longer so you can hear it better. Yeah, so that's really cool. You have effects as well, fade in, fade out, which makes it by yourself. So if I press fade in, um, let's make it five seconds. Let's make it five seconds. 5.00, okay. And as you can see, he just did it by itself. He made it a bit shorter. But yeah, this is a really awesome feature. And it, you can make it fade out as well at the, at the very end. All you do is make a, a, a dot by pressing and dragging it then making another dot uh, then putting it like this simple uh, so yeah um, you can edit that and I it, you just press back uh, if you finished that's it so um the plus button here you can zoom in zoom out uh, but the coolest thing is you can add video overlay damn I'm recording how long am I recording 10 minutes okay a video overlay so let's add a video overlay so let's add video um, let's add download and okay let's add my um, intro for uh, skyblock okay it's done so we press here on the video and there it is I long press and I drag it onto the video overlay and there it is and look how tiny it is so we double click it I want it on the top right corner and the size will be whoa that's too big um, about that big so I'll be able to record with a face camera hopefully on my we'll see but you can do that as well opacity this is um you can make it look invisible like trans uh, transparent so that's a really cool uh, feature you can or you can either make it scroll from left to right or bottom to top or whatever um and the fading effect i always keep that on so at the beginning it fades in slowly and then it fades out so you'll see um that um, also, if you press add, you can add text. Uh, to be honest, I don't really like the text in this video editor. That's why I use my other video editor to do that. And because I don't record with the sound in, I record from my phone, this doesn't allow you to put two uh, audios in. So I, when I export this, I go to my other video editor and then I put my audio on. But let's add text and let's call it testing or something. I don't know, testing. Okay, so we have testing, and there it is on the up line. If I double click it, then we have the options, and you can move it around like you can on that program, unfortunately. But you can choose the size, opacity again, like make it transparent. Uh, and I'm going to leave it transparent. Let's make it on the top left. Um, the color. Let's make the color. I don't know, green. And there we go, it's green. And you can also set, change the color of the outline. And let's make it fade in as well. And actually, let's make it scroll from top to bottom. Uh, so, okay, that's done. So we, we just go back. And um, yeah, let's add some music as well. So, add music, sound picker. Okay, so, okay, it's adding file. Okay, there it is. I long press again and I slide it onto the audio overlay. And boom, it's here. And I don't want it so big because this is huge. I'm going to cut it down by using the blue line on the side and it's cutting it. I'm going to cut it there. There we go, it's back to normal now. Um, yeah, this is your actual video here, original video, but this is like the editing part. Because I've got, um, because I've already got sound in my um, intro, I don't want that there, so I'm cutting it down. 
All right, let's let me let it start from here. I'm cutting it down. There you go. So it's going to be in my outro. So yeah, it's nice and simple to use. Um, I like it. Um, and the best way is to use two video editors because Android still didn't make the best one. Um, yeah, you've got if you press more, you have you can contact them and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's go back and actually play the whole video. It's probably going to be laggy. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's laggy, but. Okay, let's get. You know what? Let's go into save video, and I'll show the video at the end. So let's save the video, and this is okay. So preset. I usually keep it on custom because it's the best. A uh, frame um, file format. So much to choose from. Resolution. I keep on 720. I usually make it uh, 1080 for you guys when it's uh, a really sh like a short video for five minutes or something. And. Um, Keep your frame rate, frame rate on 25 and encoder options, keep it on MP4, um, MPEG4, not the other one, because it's uh, not the H264 or whatever you have, um, because it, it takes longer. Uh, okay, so I'm going to create it and I'm going to have to stop recording here because it's going to totally lag out. So I will see you, uh, I will be back. Actually, you know what, you'll just see the video already. Okay, so thanks for watching and enjoy the video.